ahead of the show's bingeable release this week. Here's everything you need to know about Maya's introduction in Hawkeye, her comic book history, and the new Marvel Spotlight banner. Previously on Hawkeye, it's been more than two years since Hawkeye concluded over the 2021 holiday season, but Echo is set to pick up right where Maya's story left off. Although Hawkeye centered on the arrow-slinging duo of Clint Barton and Kate Bishop, the series also served as an introduction to Maya Lopez, better known as Echo. The opening of the third episode of Hawkeye, Echoes, is effectively a condensed origin story for Lopez, as the series departs from its main storyline to depict her childhood and her relationship with her father. The episode begins with a young Maya in school as she tries to adapt to her classes without being able to hear her teacher. Maya, who was born deaf, grew up learning how to observe those around her and replicate their movements with extraordinary precision. One flashback to Maya's childhood shows her in a karate class, studying the moves of a classmate before reproducing them to perfection to take down a much larger opponent. Crucially, Echoes also establishes Maya's connections to Fisk and to Barton, the latter of whom killed Maya's father during his darker days as Ronan. William Lopez worked for Fisk's tracksuit mafia crime organization, and an adult Maya finds him in his dying moments after the group's run-in with Barton. Maya then begins working for Fisk, whom Maya grew up around and always referred to as her uncle. By the time of Hawkeye's present-day storyline, Lopez has climbed the ranks to become the leader of the tracksuit mafia. When Barton confronts Lopez in the fifth episode, he reveals to her that Fisk, as well as another tracksuit mafia member named Kazi, played a part in setting up her father on the night that he was killed. As a result, Maya returns in the season finale to kill Kazi and shoot Fisk, even as Kingpin reminds her that they're family. Of course, the camera conveniently cuts away just as the bullet is fired from Maya's gun. All that we can hear is a gunshot and the sound of a body hitting the pavement. Teasers for Echo have already made one thing completely clear, Kingpin is not dead. Donofrio's infamous daredevil villain takes on a bigger role in the new series after appearing in only one episode of Hawkeye. To escape the clutches of Fisk's criminal empire, Maya heads back to her hometown in Oklahoma to reconnect with her real family. When we come into, we're going to learn that Maya has two families. She's got her family in Oklahoma, she's got her family in New York and those two things are at odds with each other. She's going to come into the series very clearly knowing who her family is, where her allegiances 